Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, my name is Crystal and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, The Real Real, and ThreadUp. And really all that means is I sell people's trash on the internet and that's how I pay my bills. So um, if you're brand new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I'm so glad that you decided to come back and hang out with me again. Today, I'm gonna do a thrift haul. So, um, if you don't know, I'm from Nashville. Mm, like, an hour, an hour and a half out of Nashville. Um, but I go to the Nashville Bins, which is the Goodwill outlet, and you pay by the pound for clothing, shoes, books, whatever they have. Um, and obviously that's not the only place that I source, but that's where this haul is gonna be from today. So, there are two bins now in Nashville. One of them is on Cockrell Bend, which is uh, the newer one. And then one of them is on Berry Hill, I think is where it is. So if you're in the area and you want to check those out, that's where those are. Um, this haul is from, I think it's, yeah, it's from the one on Cockrell Bend. So we decided to go there because it was cleaner and I don't know. That's why we decided to go there. So we went um, early at the beginning of the week and I'm just bringing my stuff in now. So I figured why not show you guys what I got. So um, thrift hauls are always kind of hard for me to do because I have dogs. So I try to keep all of my inventory in the bag and like put it from the bag to the hanger, back to the bag, take it to the storage unit. So I don't have to put it down on any surface and risk it getting a bunch of dog hair on it because dog hair is literally going to be the death of me. <laughs> if you have any dogs, you understand, or cats, honestly. Um, I have three dogs, and they shed like crazy. I can literally sweep my floor, and the next day, it's like this big of a pile of dog hair. It's just a never-ending battle around here. Like, I see some just flying around. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Um, so I try not to put things down on surfaces that would have hair, just as a courtesy, obviously, like, it's more work for me to lint roll and everything like that. But also, people have allergies, and I try to be respectful of that. Um, so, anyway, I've got two different Marshalls bags. I've got one over here, and one that's full of inventory on this side. And I'm going to just try and, like, show you, and then put it into the bag and see how that works. So, I'm trying a new setup today, so bear with me. But, anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. I see shoes are on the top, so we're just going to start with shoes. The shoes are actually pretty good. Like, my mom's like, oh, they have shoes out. And I was like, yeah, the shoes aren't usually good here, so I'll get there when I get there. And it was about closing time, too. And so I was like, oh, they're definitely not going to have any good shoes. And I was wrong. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. These are, look at that. How cute. Like little tassels. And they've got like a woven, like straw wedge, not wedge, like a platform. And these are uh, J Slides. And I've only found this brand one other time, and I have it listed. It was like two weeks ago. So um, these are, I mean, the bottoms are dirty. Oh, let me put it this way. The bottoms are dirty, but not enough to be like, this side's actually dirtier than that side. But um, they should clean up relatively well. But honestly, like, other than that, there's not a whole lot wrong with these. They've definitely been worn, um, but they're still really cute. Let's see what size they are. Mm, looks like an eight. The letters, the, I hate when they put lettering in silver because it's so hard to see. These are an eight. Leather upper. They don't have a name like some of the other shoes. Sam Edelman um, is good for putting the name of the shoes, which makes it really easy to look it up. Oh, okay, I found a flaw. You can see, let me see. You see right there, there's some like, I don't want to call it scuffing because it's like a pull in the leather. I don't know. I don't know how you would describe that. But overall, not in bad condition. I'm not really sure what they're going for because like I said, I haven't found the brand a whole lot, so I don't really know like what comps are, but J slides from what I hear are good, so we'll see. Okay, this is like very similar shoe. I don't know, are these in style or maybe I just got like completely stuff. Oh, bummer. Okay. I'm going to show you what these guys, what these are. And then I'll explain why I just said bummer. These are just like a suede platform, like a 
again with the straw. These are Vince. Um, so if you saw my last haul, I'm pretty pumped about Vince shoes in general. They're very comfortable. These are a small size too. Um, where did I find it last time? Uh, there are six. So, um, why I said bummer was if you can see right here, there's a pull like in the elastic. It's like separated from the shoe. I don't know that that's going to be a deal breaker, but that's definitely going to take the profit down. So, there's also right here. Can you see that? I don't know. There's like a space in between the like. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so, I'll just take pictures of them and make sure that it's known what's wrong with them but still overall these are in really good condition I mean look at the bottoms they're very good so I'm not mad at it so either like platforms are gonna be like in and like those are two good pickups or they're out and I just am like picking up nonsense so we'll see okay story time I saw the first pair of these. There's a couple pairs, honestly. I saw the first pair and I was like, eh, that's cool. Like, I mean, I wasn't like super thrilled about them because I have found these before. These are all birds, if you don't know what they look like. And these are actually like a, these are gray, just like cloth. Uh, I think they're running shoe. I'm not really sure. These are size men's 12. So these are big. Um, and there is... There's a pull right here. Oh, okay, so that's, I'm not listing these. I should have left these like I was thinking. Yeah, here they are. Okay, both of these are separating. Um, I'm just gonna redonate those. Anyway, the story time. I was like, oh, one pair of all birds. Oh, two pairs of all birds. Oh, three pairs of all birds. I get three pairs. Um, hopefully they're not all ruined because that would be really sad. So I think these are the same guy that um, got rid of these because these are also a 12. These are green. The toe though on this one isn't separated, so that's good. I had a feeling I should have left the gray ones behind, but I was like, oh, might as well just get them. So, I don't know. But the toes are good on these green ones. Soles are in here. Um, I picked up a pair, the first pair I ever picked up. I was so excited about them. I paid like $10 for them and got them home and realized the sole wasn't in there. I ended up selling them for like $15. So I made sure that I checked that this time, but obviously I didn't check the toes. So maybe one day I'll pick up all birds and I'll know what I'm doing. These look so comfortable. These are female all birds. Or maybe they're males, I don't know. These, this is like my type of shoe, you guys know that. Um, but these are also all, all birds. Maybe they were like married and they just really love all birds. These are a size woman's eight. These are my size actually, so this is cool too. It just like folds out for the tag and you can either wear them like that or you can tuck them in, wear them like that. That's cool. The tongue, I mean the toes look good on this. These look good. These look like they're in good condition. Um, soles are good. So two out of three pairs are not bad. I might run an auction on the third pair. I might just get rid of it. I don't know. Okay, now we're getting into clothes. And I forgot what I got, so, like, your guess is as good as mine. Okay, this is just Grey's Anatomy. Um, these are just black scrub pants. Um, I always pick these up, honestly. Like, I know people don't pick up scrub pants, but these always sell for about $15, $20 for me. These are size small. And everything looks good. No, like, real wear in the crotch area or anything like that. I always look for that. Um, so, I'm going to say 15 to 20 on those because that's what I've sold them for in the past. And I've sold them many times. So, that's why I picked them up. I don't know if I should have got these or not. I went back and forth and I was like, ah, I'll just grab them. This is cut from the cloth. The brand honestly doesn't do that well for me most of the time. These are size 4. And they're just, like, Bermuda shorts. And so, like, we're even, we're out of short season now, I feel like. So, I could be holding on to these for a while, who knows. Maybe I'll send them to thread up too. Um, if you know anything about thread up, leave a comment down below if you know if they take off season stuff or if they only like take summer stuff when it's summer. Does that make sense? Because I'm curious to know. 
Okay, this is Lane Bryant. Lane Bryant sells well for me. Lane Bryant and Torrid are two of my favorite plus size brands. This is like a cold shoulder, red, long sleeve. This needs to be washed though. It has like a very perfumey smell. It has a keyhole in the back. It's cute. It's a size 14. Um, the bigger size sizes do well for me. For Lane Bryant, 14's not so much. So we'll see how that does. This, I know that it's not summer anymore, but this, I had to pick it up. This is Miracle Suit. If you don't know about this, like, below. This swimsuit line, for whatever reason, sells so well. And this is, like, a racerback, like, tankini teal with, like, black trim. It's still got the padding. Um, I always check that in swimsuits. Still got the padding in there. And what size is this? Size 18. So that's even a plus size, so that's even better. Um, this Miracle Suit always does well for me, honestly. I don't know if it will sell right away because it's not summer anymore, but you never know. People could be going on vacation or whatever. I don't really shop seasonally. I know some people do. I don't. Okay, this is like no particular brand, I don't think, but I couldn't leave it behind because it is so cool if I can figure out how to show you. Okay, this is a Hawaiian shirt, and look at the graphic on this. The Hula Girl. It's like so detailed and like my dad would love this and it is made in Hawaii so maybe 100% cotton made in Hawaii K wise I don't know I don't know if that's a good brand or not um, I do know that Hawaiian shirts that are made in Hawaii do better than obviously the ones that are not made in Hawaii and this is beautiful like size large so I don't know what the price is going to be on that. I'm going to look it up um, and see if the brand is anything or if it's just going to be like one of those have to like load it up with keywords type thing. But I couldn't leave it behind. It was so cute. Okay. Next. This is just American Eagle. You know what the brand tag looks like, but if you don't, that's what it is. Uh, it just has extra small. And it's quilted on the inside. This is very in season. This is like a charcoal gray like a sh not it's not cropped but it's definitely short like hip length um jacket it's very heavy let's see if it's 100 percent cotton and nylon filling polyester i don't know that's what the, it says uh, american eagle usually has a tag in here that tells you when it was made uh, but this one does not so this is the back it's cute somebody will love that American Eagle doesn't always sell for a ton for me but it always sells I mean people are searching for it I would consider that like a bread and butter next another bread and butter um, again doesn't sell for a ton but always sells well um, I don't know how to say it either didn't Denny, Densian, I don't know. It's that Levi brand. I'll just show you the tag. This is a high rise slim crop. Um, the rise looks very high in the back. Let me show you the. It's like a raw hem, distressed a little bit on the knees. And then the back is just a regular back. What size? Size, uh, na, 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 na. I don't know, eight? Yep. Yes. I'm gonna go with eight. <laughs> it's like small for an eight. Maybe eight is just small. I am not at eight, so who knows? I'll put measurements in the listings, put them in everything. Next. Ooh, what is this? I forgot about these. These are Ann Taylor, size 18. Another bread and butter for me, Ann Taylor sells well. And also, the real real loves it, so. These are like a clasp. Can you see that? Yeah. And they're like black with a gold flex. Uh, they look like a crop to me. And there's dog hair on these. Dang it. Just trying not to get dog hair on it. Nope, oh, it flew away. Okay. The biggest struggle I have as a reseller 
is keeping dog hair off of all of my clothes and that's no joke okay next I don't usually pick up kids clothes although I think I'm gonna start trying a little bit but I mean okay Tigger with a hood and ears like how cute is that but it also came with bottoms just normal Tigger bottoms and it looks like they overall like <laughs> what these are so cute I can leave these uh, extra large 4T. Gosh, these are so cute. I know. My mom was like, I thought you didn't do kids clothes. And I was like, I don't know. It's just so cute. I have to pick it up. You know, you ever have that problem? No, just me. Okay. Another kids item. But again, this is Nike. Nike, 18 months. A little gray. It says Nike down the side. Gray and black, we'll zip up, sweater, cute. I think if it's like a name brand or I don't know, the rest of this bag is kids clothes so maybe I'm just lying when I say I don't pick up kids clothes. Okay, this was new with tags, how can you leave this behind? If this doesn't sell, I will just bring it to Once Upon a Child and they'll give me something for it and since this was the bins, this is a uh, limited to size 7 denim and lace like I feel like this is always on trend with little cowgirl boots so cute and um MSRP on this was $38 do people pay that much money for kids clothes $38 for a dress I don't have kids but goodness well $38 I wouldn't even pay that for my own clothes but I'm cheap so okay and then the last thing I don't know if I'm gonna sell this or not. I just thought it was the cutest thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. It says, oh my gosh, it's so little. It's newborn, that's why. Okay, it says cutest pumpkin in the patch. Adorable. It has a little polka dot. Oh my gosh, I cannot. Okay, and then the last thing in this bag is something weird. I don't, I keep saying I don't normally pick these up, but honestly, like, if I can make money off of it, I'll pick it up. This also, at the bin, is so cheap. It's just like makeup. It's called Luminous, Luminous, Matte Shade 2, Primer, Moisturizer, Concealer, Foundation, all in one. I don't know. I don't wear makeup, as you can see. Um... Shake bottle well before using. Separation is normal. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Um, it's by Matte Series. I, when I, I looked this up in the store, and it looked like it's going for about $20. And I'm like, $20 for this little thing? Like, okay, sign me up. So I'm going to give it a try. But it also looks like it's from 2007 to 2010, so maybe it's discontinued. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Haven't got a clue. But I'm going to give it a go. It probably cost me 50 cents. So overall, um, I usually find at least one thing in my thrift hauls, especially when I'm shopping at the bins, that I missed while I was there. We were also rushed because I thought they closed at 8 and they actually closed at 7. So at 6.45, I was like, ah, I have to look through everything. So obviously I missed some stuff. Um, but one item out of all of that stuff isn't bad, honestly. Um, I did also get a big Nerf gun. Let me see if I can, it is over here somewhere, let me see. My mom picked this up. I don't know how it'll do, look at this thing. It's called the Retaliator Elite. And it's got this clip and that's why I picked it up because I have picked up Nerf guns in the past that don't have the darts, like nobody has the darts. And this definitely doesn't have all of the darts because it looks like it's a 12 dart clip and it maybe has three or four, so I'll have to count them when I list it, but maybe somebody will want this for Christmas. Uh, no, guys, I'm going to explain to you what just happened. After I carefully put everything from this bag to this bag, this bag just fell on the floor. This is my life now. 
This is why I don't do thrift hauls. God bless. Well, that is what it is now, you know? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to clean all that stuff up, but um, that was the entire haul. Let me know if you like these, honestly, because I'd be dropping stuff on the floor sometimes. So, <laughs> um, what else? I am gonna be putting out a video at some point next week about beginner Poshmark questions. Um, like I've said in some of my other videos, I have some people in my le my personal life who are looking to start a Poshmark closet and they have some of the same questions. And so I thought, why not just put together like kind of a frequently asked questions video for beginner Poshmarkers, Poshers, Poshmarkers. Um, so if you're interested in that, make sure that your little bell notification is on and that way you get notified when I upload it. Also, if you have not already subscribed and you are so inclined, please do that. Um, if you would like to share this with some of your friends or family, I am on the road to getting monetized. And so any shares or likes or anything um, help me towards that goal. And I would really appreciate it. And lastly, if you liked this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up on your way out. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.